Hey guys, it's Lisa. Today I'll be doing my final Christmas themed episode. I'll be making a tart with three of my favorite Christmas flavors. Ginger, cinnamon and orange. My oven is already preheating at 175 Celsius. And this is what you need. One and a half cup of spelt flour, that's about 200 grams. A quarter of a cup of coconut sugar. A quarter of a teaspoon of salt. A teaspoon of ground cinnamon and a teaspoon of ground ginger. Half a cup of melted coconut oil. And for the filling you need 400 grams, that's about one and a half cup of silken tofu. 100 grams, that's one cup of coconut sugar. Six tablespoons of flour. One teaspoon of baking powder. One organic orange. And just a tiny bit of lemon juice. You may have noticed that there are no eggs and no butter in the ingredient list. So it's all completely vegan. We're using coconut sugar, we're using spelt flour. So it's not all that bad for you. For the crust, I need to sift my flour and especially the whole wheat flours and the spelt flours, they're a little bit more heavy. So if you sift them, you lift them up a little bit. They become more fluffy and light. Add the ginger and cinnamon. And salt. And sugar. Add the mix to the food processor. Melted coconut oil. And pulse it to combine. This is our quick and easy sandy dough. I already prepared my pie dish by lining it with some parchment paper and greasing it with coconut oil. And there goes my dough. Try to spread it evenly over the bottom. It's basically that easy. Crust is done. I'm going to pre-bake this for 20 minutes at 175. While the crust is baking, I can make my filling, which is as easy as the crust. My silkum tofu, there's a little bit of water in here, I want to get rid of it. And you can of course use the same food processor for the filling. I like to use the blender because it makes it a little bit more smooth. Baking powder and spelt flour. As usual, I'm going to add something that I didn't put in my ingredient list because I am that organized. But I'm going to add a little bit of vanilla. If you have vanilla powder or extracts, half a teaspoon. If you don't have any, don't worry. It will still be delicious. My orange, we need the zest. And this is really important that you don't zest in the white parts because you don't want your filling to be bitter. And we also need the juice of the entire thing. And I also like to add a tablespoon or so of lemon juice to lift up the flavors a little bit. Lid on and blend until smooth. The crust is done, so I'll take it out and let it cool a little bit. The filling can go on top of the crust. already smells delicious. Gently tap it to remove some of the air bubbles. Now the tart can go in the oven for the second round for 25 minutes. That's basically it for the recipe, but it's Christmas and I'd like to decorate the tart a little bit. So I decided to clean up my blender and grind up some grated coconut. Look at that, we made coconut snow. Super, super cute. My tart is ready and it really needs to cool. That's really, really important. In fact, it's so important that I should have put patience on the ingredient list. But since we're waiting, I'm going to cut little slices of orange to decorate the tart later.
that's all there is to it. I'm keeping it simple and elegant. I'm dying to try a slice. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you will have a wonderful Christmas and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.